Good afternoon and what is a cold, bright and sunny day. It is Thursday the 19th of January. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And some boxes of mergers to go through. Now I've already done some unboxings of these including um, the merchant set and the kitchen set. So what I am going to unbox next, find the ones I want, because I'm going to bit out of the way, is this, which is the town watch set. This is part of the, of the Warlock uh, tiles range. They're high HD or high definition miniatures and uh, part of the 4D tile set uh, from WizKids. So let's take, uh, let's see. Gonna need the knife. Let's have a look at the back. There we go. You can see everything there. See quite quite a few, few uh, large number of pieces. Um, you know some quite in interesting pieces. Then a bit of a close up. So everything you need to create dynamic city encounters. You'll add some real characters to the denizens of your cities and towns with the Warlock Tiles accessory Town Watch. As the characters wind their way through the heart of the city, they are searched for, for new sources of much needed information. Will it be the sheriff and bailiff whose sharp gazes dart through the crowd, seeking out the latest thief? Perhaps it's the best to approach the convivial, convivial actors, sampling a scene for uh, onlookers from tonight's performance instead. The ringing of a hammer against metal means the blacksmiths are, are busy at work too. With this set, the variety of interactions ready at hand are sure to please both players and game masters alike. So we have ready the the, um, the forge with the removable coal. Uh, ready uh, the forge. The forge removable. Obviously, you can do. You can ready the removable. Uh, the forge with the removable coal, coal twice. Um, the bellows are ready for the blacksmith. The sheriff uh, and bailiff survey their surroundings. The sheriff, uh, I guess, and again, and the actors and actresses wait their, um, their, their, their applause. So, yes, we've got a bit of a misprint on the back here. We've got a full list of the things there. But let's have a look inside. Now, I should mention that I should thank my friend Neve for these uh, miniatures. Um, which, uh, you should kindly lend them to me so I can do an unboxing. She's not even unboxed this one herself, so you know. That, uh, oh, there we go. Actually, she has. That, uh, tell her like. But anyway, let uh, so pull this out. And what we've got is this little bit of advertising here, it's basically a bit of a flyer. It's not particularly, these aren't particularly informative, I don't think, you know, almost why, what, uh, you sort of like wonder why they're kind of including them. But, you know, you've got a little leaflet there. So you open up and you can see the coals can be placed or in or taken out of the forge. And then uh, you can place the anvil on the stump. Um, and uh, tools and modular can be placed around the scene. Create dynamic encounters with endless possibilities. So, you know, just a couple of pointers, not very interesting. And then on the back you have um, advertising for other sets, of course. That's to be expected, no problem with that. So, and then we have the makers in the set. And they come with a little, we've got a, a, a flat lid there on top. that comes off easily enough. So let's start off with um, the big piece and this is the forge itself. Nice little stone piece, bricks, brickwork at the back. You know, basically that could have just been, you know, I mean it's all brick but it's basically been plastered over or something, you know, at, uh, but I mean uh, nicely detailed. Um, inside you've got a nice little bit of chain there hanging there and then this is supposed to come out. There we go. Yes, it does. Okay. So that comes out, and the neat thing about this is that it does actually. There's a there's there's a little um, there's a lamp in there, a little light in there, so you can actually get the effect of it, of the glowing um, hot coals of the forge in there if you want to. Um, and then you just basically got empty, the empty sort of stone there, you know, the floor, if it was basically cleaned out totally and, and you know, let, let go cold. But that slides in there like that. Nice looking piece. I really like that. So, 
else we've got? We have the bellows, so you sort of like, you set up the bellows like that, you know, just be uh, and you're pumping, um, pumping, um, or actually, actually, probably like that, because you should be pumping air in there. I'm not sure you should have the lever pointing that way. Um, and then you've got the various different characters. You've got a, um, I'm not going to get the little things out. You've got a full list of sort of the full, full stack of little um, uh, tools there because they're too fiddly to get out. But let's have a look at the other miniatures. Uh, so um, you have one of the actors, you know, ready with his performance, ready with his sword. But I mean, you could easily turn that into a barbarian if you wanted to. Uh, presuming that's some kind of thief. I mean, let's just check. Uh, it doesn't actually say what a lot, what a lot of these characters are, but it's actually, you know, you've got a little brigand or a thief there. And, and next we have um, the blacksmith, complete with his hammer. You know, he's an old, he, he's, he's a fairly, um, uh, you know, he basically, he's a fairly old man there, white beard, and ready to get to work at the, you know, repairing that, 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 uh, plough or something and we've got a, um, another actress again with sword and essentially you know they're putting on a, uh, a little bit of a, a performance I mean, she could be another bandit um, but the other thing noticed about the, this character that uh, she has no hand she's basically got a little stump there so had an accident she you know could even be an ex-pirate if you want um, and blacksmith assistant Working on a piece of uh, piece of metal work there. Oops, uh, I've definitely got the actors here. Um, you know, he's definitely putting on a showcase. You know, all the world's a stage. You know, thank you for your applause. And, uh, now we have. Bailiff, presumably, look, keeping an eye on things going on. And, uh, and then another set, little stand at the at the blacksmith. You have a, um, uh, you've got a, a suit of chain um, or mail on on the um, on the stand helmet, um, uh, to attached gauntlets attached there, and the shield down below. Uh, and if you actually turn the, the, the shield round. You've got the um, basically the the, um, the handles for it to hold it in place, and you know, um, so you can set up a little dynamic little scene. Um, member of the watch, presumably complete with a you know a lantern as he goes about his business. Uh, oh, that's definitely definitely the actor. You know, the last Paul Yorick almost. You've got the skull there. A couple of classic poses. Let's go check. Let's, let's, um, let's have a look. Um, okay. So, in effect, actually, these characters, these characters, essentially, that's meant to be sort of like the sheriff and uh, his bailiff, or vice versa. Um, a couple of new. Um, you know, do wells. Um, she, no, she um, actually, or possibly that one. It's not clear on the background. I don't think they've done a very good job here, perhaps, with describing what's on here on the back. Um, but, uh, so yeah, that's actually meant to be the sheriff and the bailiff. The bailiff actually has that is the one with the stump. So yes, a little bit odd there, nevertheless. Anyway, so that's um, the town watch set. I mean, the thing is, it's a little bit of. Um, though it's called the Town Watch set, it's a bit of an odd set in some ways because it's not really um, sort of like focused on the Town Watch. You don't actually get any members of, 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 of the Town Watch set. It's, um, it's more, again, more of the merchants. And you kind of go, well, I mean, it's great that you can do sort of like the mix and match with it. Um, but oh, yeah, there's everything in there. Um, so it's it's a bit of a mix of everything in there, rather than straight town watch. So you, 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 you I think you'll be kind of a, you be a bit bit surprised by what's in there. Anyway, let's put this back. Take that back 
in and slide that into the box. So these are really nice box sets, um, you know, if you are running a game in person and you want, um, put that in properly, uh, and, and you want, um, you know, street scenes, um, town or city scenes as, um, you know, as it says on the back, they're really useful for that. Um, but, uh, you know, and you, you and, and you use a lot of miniatures. Anyway, that's the Town Watch ser series, part of the Warlock Tiles series from WizKids. So, hope you enjoyed this unboxing and look. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, do appreciate you take the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings and look, where you'll see me out here uh, with a box or a game, or in this case, a box of miniatures, which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so. All, of course, can be by a nice hot cup of tea. then please do hit, do hit the subscribe button down again. Lastly, I want to thank Neef for lending this to me, and I will be back again soon with another unboxing in the nook. Bye for now.